Hello and welcome. This time we talk, want to talk about NAND and NOR technology. What is this? What is behind this? We talked about logic equations, we talked about logic circuits and so on. And you must know all those things. Yeah? There are AND elements, there are OR elements, there are uh, inverters and so on. You can buy them. You can buy them. Just buy them. You get a small IC with uh, some parts inside and so on. Yeah? And then you can build those circuits. Rather easy. However, you will run into troubles. Yeah? Because maybe you want to have to build this logic and this logic. This time you need some ANDs, then you need some ORs, then you need some NORs, then you need a lot of different type of, of elements. Yeah? You need to have them in your store, in your storage. Yeah? And you need to track it. Is there enough ORs? Is there enough ANDs? And so on. You need to keep somebody to keep track on it and purchase, if necessary, new ones. Some you will never use, they're just lying around, taking place and so on. So it would be nice if we could just use only one element. And this element, with this element, I can build every logic. And I tell you now, it is indeed possible to do so. It is indeed possible. We can even use two elements for this. Yeah? We can use a NAND element or a NOR element. Yeah? Why a NAND and NOR, not an AND or an OR? Because I need to get somehow an inverting thing. Yeah? So this is not AND. So then I can build an inverter. Yeah? The reason behind NAND and NOR technology I just explained, but also you know, there are things you can buy, you can think of it as a big chunk of, of logic elements and you can program the connection between the logic elements. Yeah? This is maybe called an FPGA, a field programmable gate array. Okay? This connect, you can think of it as a lot of logic elements, you can program the connection between the logic elements and, of course, if there is a block of ANDs and a block of ORs and so on, but you need to go straight through all the circuit and so on. But if you can use the same element for each function, yeah, you could even use a little bit more of them, but it's much easier. Yeah? So this is also a reason for NAND and OR uh, technology. So let's have a look how we can how we can get to, to, to use NAND and NOR to build every possible logic element. Okay. Let's start. Let's start. Shit. The very simple logic element is the inverter. Yeah. The NOT looks like this. How to build this type in, let's take NAND, okay? And I tell you now, you need a NAND block. And the only thing you need to do is to put the same input on both. Is this really true? Let's remember the NAND. Okay. Here, this is the NAND. If both inputs are zero, I have a one. Yeah. If so if this is zero, both inputs are zero, I have a one. If both inputs are one, yeah, I have a zero. Really, really, and this is exactly what the knot is doing. Yeah. Inverted. Hey! First element, we got in NAND technology. Yeah. How would it look like in NOR? Yeah. 
here's the OR, here's the NOR, and I tell you now, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look on the NOR table. If both are zero, output is one. If both are one, output is zero. Perfect. Working. Thank you. Next one. Yeah. Identity. Identity. Just the one. How to build this with NAND and NOR? We're simply using two inverters in a row. And we get the element which how it was before. Okay, I, I don't think it's useful to prove it. If I invert a logic signal and then invert it again, I have the same value as before. And the same is true, for, of course, for the OR, for the NOR technology. Okay? Equal. Let's use an end. Okay. Now we come to a more sophisticated element. An end. How to build an end with an end? An end is essentially an end with inverted output. And I just said if I invert an inverted signal, logic signal. Then I have here, before the kringle, before the knot, I have an end. Afterwards, I have an end and I just need to invert once more and I have an end. Okay, an end. Beautiful. And now we come to a little bit more tricky thing. Yeah? Build an end with no blocks. I'll open up a window here yeah? and show you something. I want to have an end. This is what I want to have. What I can do yeah, is substitute or change this and to an end with inputs which are inverted and in front of them I use two inverters. It's still the same, yeah? Invert, invert, end. The same. These inverters, I'm now using these NOR blocks. Okay? So, here I have already some NOR elements. But here I still have an end with inverted inputs. And now remember the Morgan's law. Yeah? Rule of the Morgan, I show you. An end with inverted inputs is a NOR. Oh. So I can just take this. Yeah. This black part is already a NOR. 
according to the Morgan. Yeah. Invert. Invert. Nor. That's it. This is an end in NOR technology. Okay? It's really working. Yeah? This from here to here is rule of the Morgan because these two things are exactly the same. Good. So let's draw this here. Invert, invert, invert. This really now looks complicated. I mean, it's an end, right? You probably think now this should be a benefit. Yes, and I tell you, yes, it is. Okay, because it's simply you only use one element. We will see. It must not stay as complicated as this. In some cases, it really works out that we shorten this quite a lot. We will see in some examples afterwards. Let's have an or. Or in end. I also have to open the window again. I have an OR. Basically, I do the same trick. Yeah? I show it once more yeah, for you. Maybe it is easier to follow. So an OR. Now I'm inverting the inputs. I'm inverting the inputs of the OR. And add inverters in front. Because this is, this is the same. And here I now replace the inverters with NAND elements and zit and inverter. NAND inverter looks like this. And then I have here this or with inverted inputs. Again, I have to take a look at the Morgan and an or with inverted inputs is exactly the same like an AND. So again, I have the case that this is already an AND. So this is again exactly the same as this. Nand, nand, nand. Here we are. Same trick as before. Okay, just from or to NAND. So let's draw it here. An or looks in NAND technology looks like this. Here we go. And an AND in NAND technology is easy. Yeah. There is the an OR in NOR technology is easy. This is what I wanted to say. This is the OR. Now it's an OR. And now I invert it once more. And now it's the OR. 
the nor gets the or by inverting. Or. Okay? Now, there are two things left. Yeah? There is the NAND. And NAND in NAND technology, I mean, I, I will not draw it. Yeah? Figure it out what a NAND in NAND technology is. And a NAND in OR technology is an AND inverted. Okay, so here, and this is the most complicated one. This is the ooh, here, it's a door. This is the end. This is the end. <laughs> this is the end. And now I invert it once more. Okay. Ta ta. And the same thing applies if we want to have a nor a nor and nor technology is again rather easy and a nor and NAND technology is an or here I will first draw the or invert 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 and 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 inverter here, inverter there. This is the OR and another inverter. Afterwards, this is the NOR. Here we are. Yeah. The blue things are NAND technology. The green things are NOR technology. With both things, we can build every other logic we want to have. We have a NOT, we have an identity, we have an AND, we have an OR, we have an NAND, we have a NOR, we don't need more. Everything set up just with one element, either NAND element or NOR element. So we can purchase a bunch of NANDs or a bunch of NOR elements and live with it. Yeah? And if they are done, yeah? If there is nothing left, or only a few left, we just purchase one slot in the in the storage. Great. Huh? We maybe need a little bit more elements, but they are much cheaper. Huh? They are much cheaper in purchasing and handling and so on. It's better. Okay. Nand and NOR technology. Now. We are ready. Now we are ready to look into how we actually want to build our logic circuits. Huh? So we are going to develop logics now. Try to develop logic. Huh? It's not that simple as in the last video that we are just taking table of truth and or and that's it. Yeah? We will try to simplify things. We will Try to shorten the logic as small as possible. But this is then in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.